the gym, and I've just woken up, sorry, woken up, um, and on Saturday, Saturday night I watched Hobbs and Shaw. So I'll tell you the ratings out of 10, and let's get started with with, with review. This is obviously non-spoiler, and I'm going to give the film 8.5 out of 10. So, um... But let's start talking about, there was a couple of cameos in the film. Now, it's a non-spoiler review, so I can't mention who those cameos are. And I don't want any spoilers in the comments, in case you are going to put these in. No one probably will, anyway. Um, um, but I felt like the action in the film, you know, we've seen you know, a lot of vehicle actions in the Fast and Furious franchise. Um, but it made it in a way that was quite unique. And you don't you have to really watch the other films to have seen Hobbs and Shaw. You know, you can for you know, little conversation parts in the film, but nothing that we really need to, um, you know, um, see to really watch this one. Um, and I felt like it was quite funny. It might be the funniest um, Fast and Furious movie out there. And to me, I think it might be my favourite one. Um, even though it's, it's even though it's a spin-off, it's not really a proper Fast and Furious film, but I, I really really enjoyed it, and I like if there was a sequel and maybe a threequel. You never know. Um, the bad guy in the film, played by Idris Elba, Idris Elba, Idris Elba. Um, I thought he was cool. He didn't have like any amazing tensions, or he wasn't anybody that I thought was like really you know like amazing or outstanding. I thought he was pretty cool. You know, calling himself Black Superman. I love that line. Um, and um, the 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 story of the film, you know, as usual in the Fast and Furious films, there's nothing groundbreaking. You know, they're very very simplistic stories. But I really enjoyed the story about. Um, well, I can't really say what it's about in you know, a spoiler review, but you know, I really did think it was one of the better stories of the franchise. And I feel like I didn't get bored two hour movie just went really really quick like the beginning to the end I really enjoyed I really enjoyed the first act really enjoyed the second act and I really enjoyed the third act so I think overall it was a really really great movie um I could have done a spoiler review yesterday I could have done it last night because I went somewhere but I could have done it yesterday morning um I don't know why I didn't to be honest um sorry about nature um but anyway, I think that's it for this non spoiler review, and um, I'm going to give this film 8.5 out of 10, probably mentioned it already. You know, so, so, sometimes when I do these reviews, I can't remember mentioning something, you know, and then I sometimes end up mentioning it again, but I'm going to give it an 8.5 out of 10. Anyway, thank you for watching. Please go leave a like, subscribe, and comment, and I recommend to watch this film if, if you are or if you're not a Fast and Furious fan. The trailers might be quite helpful though. If you like the trailers, you will like the film. If you don't like the trailers, you won't like the film because it's basically the same tone as what you see in the trailers. Um, anyway, thank you for watching. Please go leave a like, subscribe, and comment. Um, and I'll see you guys soon. Ciao.